If you're fortunate enough to be able to keep your horses at home, there's something that you spend a lot of time doing. The horse's stalls always need to be cleaned and it takes a lot of time away from riding your horse but it's something that has to be done because of your horse's health. It helps to keep his feet healthy and a clean stall keeps ammonia down which helps to keep your horse's respiratory system healthy and keeping your horse's stall clean means you know just how his digestive system is working because you can see how much manure he produces every single day and today I'm going to show you how you can efficiently and quickly clean your horse's stall making it something easy to do every single day. Okay, so to get started, this is Frisbee's stall and this is legit, this is what his stall looked like. So I had already basically stripped out the stall, he spent the night in it and this was the manure that happened overnight. You can see one spot, this is basically the wet spot where he always goes to the bathroom and the first thing I have to do is not only get rid of the manure, but get rid of all of the wet dirt too. Now in my stalls, I don't have the luxury of having stall mats, so that is just a dirt bottom to the floor of the stall. Basically all the manure is removed and now I'm just kind of sweeping up a little bit and just removing some of the dirt and dust that happens on the one stall mat that I do have because that's where he gets his grain. And I should mention that this is winter time when I'm doing this so it's a little more challenging to clean a stall in the winter time when it's an open front stall because overnight it tends to freeze. But I like to bring all of the dirt from the back of the stall and go over that little depression or where the wet spot is to help get rid of some of that excess moisture. And another thing I like to use is zeolite. This stuff is awesome. So this is like PDZ, only it's a lot more affordable. Helps absorb ammonia. So these are the bedding essentials that I use in my horse's stall. First is the animal bedding, and this is a pelleted type of shavings or like a wood sawdust that's been put into a pellet form. It's very compact, 40 pounds. So all of these bags will be enough for both of the horse's stalls. And if you look in comparison to two bags of shavings, I'm going to get a lot more bang for my buck with the pelletized animal bedding. But I do like to put some shavings in there as well. And here is just a speeded up version of me doing the same thing to Pleasant Stall that I did to Frisbee Stall. So this was me basically stripping the stall and then getting ready to make it all nice for my pony. So here's the stall all stripped and basically ready for bedding. And we have to start with the zeolite. Like I said, it's like PDZ, but it's a lot more affordable and it lasts a really long time. It is a little bit dusty, it's kind of a powder, but it really helps to absorb that excess ammonia that can happen when horses urinate in their stalls. And 
once the zeolite is down, then I put in the pellet bedding. So for Frisbee stall, I'm using three bags of the pellet bedding, which is 120 pounds of bedding. And this pellet bedding is so nice. You can actually get it wet if you want to, to help it kind of expand in size. But I usually just put it out just like this, especially in the winter time. And then when it gets moisture added to it, it will expand in size. So I use this as the base layer for my stall. And then I cover up the pellets with a bag of shavings. It's not really necessary, but I like to do this just because it makes it a little bit softer for the horses when the pellets are still pellets if they decide to lay down. So three bags of pellets and now one bag of shavings over top. And basically that's how I like to bed my horses stalls. And every once in a while you'll find a stick in the shavings which is why I like to kind of pick it out and look at it while I'm spreading out the shavings in the stall Once my stalls are clean and if it's a nice enough day, I will get out into their paddocks and kind of rake those up as well and get rid of some of the manure and the dirt and hay that they haven't eaten. Thankfully, this was a nice day when I could actually clean out the paddock a little bit. still pretty frozen. I think you can see the snow on the ground, so it makes it a little more challenging to get the manure up, but, but every day that you do this, it gets a little bit easier and you get a little bit more of the manure. So if you're curious what the pelletized animal bedding is like once it's all broken down, this is what it's like. So it makes it really easy to shake out the bedding and all you're left with is the manure. So it looks like I have a full fork or a rake full of bedding and manure, but it really is just a tiny bit of manure. This is one of the reasons I really like this bedding is it lasts a really long time and it also makes a very nice soft bed for my horses and it's really affordable. So each bag of the pelletized bedding is about $5. So for $15, I was able to make a really nice footing for my horses. And this is what the pens look like all clean. This is what my stalls look like all clean in the middle of winter. In the summertime, it's a lot easier to do. This is something that I really like to do at least once a week, typically on the weekends if the weather is cooperating. It's nice to completely strip the stalls down and then they look like this. I wish I could make them look like this on a daily basis, but that would be a lot of money. So stripping them out usually about once a week, once every other week in the winter time makes it a lot easier. And then I don't have to spend a lot of time throughout the week cleaning stalls. 